I, for one, am thrilled that we are here this weekend to finally take up an issue that is of such great importance to my constituents. I mean, frankly, when I go back to my district, I find that the more people hear about this health care bill, they, the happier they are. They are thrilled to know that as a small business, they're going to start receiving subsidies uh, to help support the cost of health insurance. My seniors are saying, thank goodness we no longer will have to pay for preventative care under Medicare. Thank goodness we're going to get rid of the donut hole that was created by the other side predominantly when they pass the Medicare Prescription D plan. And we hear a lot of talk about process, but I just want to talk a little bit about the process of insurance companies, because that's what makes my constituents mad. When they hear about the fact that people are constantly denied coverage because of a pre-existing condition, in many states being a woman, a woman of childbearing age, is a pre-existing condition. You know, that will be gone with this bill. Immediately we'll say children are not a pre-existing condition. None of them uh, can be denied coverage. And by 2014, no one can be denied under this piece of legislation. We're going to get rid of lifetime caps. People who have a long-term illness who find that their insurance runs out in spite of the fact that they've been paying these high premiums.